Hey everybody, welcome to another Money Reviews. Today we are reviewing this here dangler pouch uh, from MTAC. This is a Ukrainian company that makes tactical gear. And you're starting to see a little more of their stuff showing up out in the wild as um, it looks like they may have gotten their production going beyond just for uh, the war effort. So kind of cool. So here, yellow tags, it's made in Ukraine. And this dangler is actually in Ukrainian MM14. It is their digital pattern that was homegrown and created uh, in Ukraine before the war. I think it was around 2014, hence the designation. And it is kind of interesting, actually. So it is reminiscent of UCP, but with better colors, if that makes sense. Uh, it's not the abomination abortion that was UCP with the weird foliage green, tan 499, etc. Uh, looks like they have uh, some like almost olive-ish greens in here with a little bit of tan and a lighter green. And then it looks like a shade of gray, possibly, uh, right through there. So the face of the actual dangler is covered in a uh, laser gridded loop. That's also in the uh, MM14, so that is kind of nice, so it's color matched. And then you have the MTAC logo right there. And then you've got a little thing telling you it is 100% genuine Cordura fabric. Front zipper here is a, a waterproof zipper. Don't know how necessary that is, because I don't know if the material itself is waterproof. But it's still a nice feature, because if the material is water resistant or waterproof, that zipper will help also maintain that integrity that's kind of nice you got a cordage zipper pull here nice overhead knot look uh, olive cordage and then zipper pull goes clean uh in here i put some stuff in here that i normally carry in my dangler i've got an emergency blanket and some uh sanitary uh wet ones a little like hand cleaning uh wipes to help keep stuff clean kind of a throwback to the COVID era honestly guys uh, the pocket itself runs most of the length of the face of this dangler. Not, it's like an envelope, envelope pocket. And the inside you've got this, um, pack cloth material, like an olive color or, um, adaptive green almost. Not gigantic, but it will hold a small amount of medical stuff for sure. Maybe a couple bandages. Uh, definitely holds a thinly packed item like this space blanket and wipes. The main pocket, you've got a, a dual zipper that runs both ways with two pieces of cordage and overhand knots. And then you open that up and then you have little items that were in my other dangler in there. Uh, both sides are face, are covered in loop. It's this like um, olive-ish adaptive green that you see a lot of European kit in for some reason. And a lot of Ukrainian stuff has this almost rangerish green green. But the fact that the back and the front are both loop faced is kind of cool. I mean, you can put um, inserts and dividers and stuff in there. And it's decently sized on the inside. It's the entire capacity of the dangler. Looks like it's about, uh, about an inch and a half down here at the bottom in a width and then the whole this is the depth of the entire dangler comfortably holds this case here which is my little signaling kit and this plus with room to spare so that's nice on the back side we have another zipper and it is like a little um, envelope pocket also same like cordura adaptive green ranger greenish color here uh, this is not a very big it's another little envelope pocket I could easily fit uh, that stuff in there if I wanted to with no issues. Probably if I had a small enough piece of uh, ballistic material, a small piece of Kevlar, I could shove it in there uh, to give me some uh, ballistic protection, fragmentation. So that is kind of cool. That might be what that's for. I'm not 100% sure. And then at the bottom, we have a bit of this like Ranger Greenish elastic for a tourniquet. And that's what I have in there. I have a standard cat tourniquet in there. The actual point where you would connect it to your plate carrier or a chest rig is right here. And it is a laser cut piece of material with 
the whole front face is loop, whole back face is hook uh, for a nice wide connection point for a plate carrier. Definitely a nice little dangler. I like the shape. I like the design. I do like the fact that the loop face has the laser cut grid in it. So if I wanted to, I could put a pouch on here. Uh, another small little horizontal GP. I could put a couple of fragmentation grenades there if I wanted to. Um, they're definitely big enough to hold like two frag pouches or uh, sky's the limit. It is large enough for a uh, 5x3, 3x5 IFF flag. So that is kind of nice, meaning it'll hold smaller uh, patches uh, with no issue. So I'm going to show you this guy mounted. So give me one second. I'm going to be bringing the plate carrier up, but real fast. So this is the Emerson dangler I was running on the plate carrier. And this kind of gives you an idea of the sizing. The Emerson is a copy of the Pharaoh, or a close enough copy of the Pharaoh. And they're about the same size. The impact's a little smaller, but not in a bad way. So, now let's bring this uh, Pharaoh up here. This is the FCPC V5 that I've been running. Setting up for this uh, kit. If you've been watching the channel or seeing any of my my build for this kit, you'll have seen this FCP FCPC V5 many times at this point. Pharaoh flap out of the way. We'll decide. Mm -hmm, that look about even, about center. Yeah, it looks about center. Bring the ferro flap down, and voila, there it is. So that's the dangler actually on the carrier. Doesn't look too bad, not too shabby uh, on here. The MF14 actually looks kind of cool with the multicam. And yep, there, that's what we got. So overall, kind of a cool little item, definitely neat. Uh, they do come in multiple colors. Multicam was one of the options. Uh, I got this off Amazon. I think black was an option, a possibly coyote brown. I'll double check. Uh, we'll definitely have a screenshot pop up showing you the different color options. My editor will take care of all of that nonsense because I just can't be bothered. Overall, pretty cool dangler, <laughs> and I, I like it. I think it was a it was kind of a a whim purchase because I was just looking at some stuff and I happened to see it and it was in the, the Ukrainian MM14 and I thought it would just look fantastic on the kit. And it was kind of neat having a piece of Ukrainian uh, digital pattern stuff on my stuff. That's all I got, guys. I hope you guys got something out of this review. As always, little helmet in the bottom right-hand corner is the subscribe button. If you like this content, go ahead and smash that dude in the head. I would love for you to join me here and see all this fancy cool kit as I get it and review it. Um, until next time, get out there, play some airsoft, LARP smarter, not harder. And hopefully I'll see some of you on the field. Take care.